hey guys hello and welcome back to our channel the engineer in today's part 2 we will going to discuss all about the assembling procedure and the cares to be taken during assembling of the turbocharger so before starting on the video i would like to say thanks for your support to our part 1 and if you have if have you have haven't seen the our part 1 video then links are given in the description so guys let's start with our part 2 video for the assembly first we have to assemble uh, like uh, before an assembly everything is been uh, we have to ensure that everything is been properly cleaned up uh, we have taken all the measurement there should not be uh, any deposit on the turbine blade because it may cause an imbalance of the turbine rotor so let's start with the assembly so first we assemble the bearing of a compressor side for that apply an alu boil bearing okay we have to apply the lube boil bearing for the assembling of the compressor then insert the bearing into housing fully so that it will get locked in a pins then fit a snap ring this is a snap ring okay for compressor side snap ring the rounded face towards the bearing and the end gap ring as seen on the compressor side so this is very important that uh, for a compressor side snap ring the rounded face towards the bearing side and uh, the end gap to the right hand side as seen in the picture you can see here okay clearly this is very important and uh, which you can see in the um, manual as well so this is what i seen and i'm telling it's very important for turbine side bearing procedure is same as compressor but for turbine side snap ring its end face should be pointed towards the left side as seen from the turbine side okay this is how for the turbine side now install heat shield it's very important before installing an a an, an, an rotor uh, turbine rotor we have to ensure that the heat shield is being must uh, installed because after installing an a turbine rotor we cannot install the heat shield so it may can happen so please be ensure that so install oil seal ring on a turbine rotor so that the end gap should be pointed towards upward and apply lube oil now this is uh, oil seal ring from the turbine on the turbine rotor it, it must have the gap should be on the upward side because it may not leak so for that purpose it is a gap of an oil seal ring it must be on upward side apply the lube oil plenty of lube oil and now uh, insert the turbine rotor insert the turbine rotor into the housing now after inserting a turbine rotor to the housing then we have to apply lube oil to the thrust collar and insert it there is a thrust collar which i have seen in the picture we have to insert the thrust collar apply the lube oil to the thrust bearing and insert it then we have to apply the lube oil to the thrust bearing and we have to insert the thrust bearing as seen in the picture you can see clearly in the picture the mark on the thrust bearing should be on upper side this, this is a mark which is uh, we can clearly see uh, it is uh, it is by maker we have to first ensure that this is on the upper side insert the distance piece by applying lube oil this is a distance piece we have to insert uh, by applying lube oil in insert the distance piece by applying the lube oil then same for the side thrust collar this is a side thrust collar install the oil seal ring on a sealing bush by its end face should be pointed towards the upward install the oil seal ring on the sealing bush there, 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 there is a uh, sealing bush sealing bush oh yeah there is a sealing bush we have to on the sealing bush there is a sealing ring so that ceiling ring face should be on the pointed upward okay which i have seen in the picture here you cannot see it clearly okay install the ceiling bush uh, in a ceiling plate okay and install o-ring 
install the ceiling plate by uh, aligning its uh, mark position this is an a ceiling plate this is a uh, marking position install it and tighten for uh, tighten the sail plate bolt near about 29.4 newton meter apply grease to the shaft and insert it this the for the shaft we have to apply the grease and we have to insert the compressor impeller then install the compressor lock nut the lock nut has the left hand thread for closing we have to turn it in anti clockwise direction it is please note that the lock nut has a left hand thread for uh, closing we have to for tightening we have to turn it into anti clockwise direction tightening torque for compressor nut is uh, 127.5 newton meter for this type of compressor you can check what it is exactly for your type on your your uh, this thing your own this is a chart uh, which is been uh, actually i have seen it uh, for my my own uh, that model which i have been worked on it is may differ for uh, everyone okay so uh, you can have a look on it uh, i i'm not going to read everything because you know um, it will take lengthy but uh, overall we will just go uh, axial clearance normally it has to be 0.08 to 0 .0, 0 0.15 uh, mm and the radial clearance must, must be within the limit of 0 0.45 to 0 0.60 mm uh, that allowable is 0 0.8 um, now after that uh, everything uh, once the assembly turbine rotor assembly is assembled now we have to uh, uh, apply the boring wherever it has been necessary then uh, fix the turbocharger uh, exhaust housing carefully do not damage the turbine as uh, uh, turbine wheel as well as the o-ring then fix the compressor casing then run the engine at uh, now after uh, assembling everything because as per the um, as per the marking we have to assemble the turbocharger and after assembling we have to run the engine at a lower rpm and check the turbine is rotating freely okay it is very important we have to check the turbine that is rotating freely then check the freeness of the rotor if all okay then install the silencer then uh, run the engine at rated rpm check the unusual sound vibration if there is an unusual sound vibration do not run it for the long time uh, remove it out and reinspect for the um, uh, this thing for the cause and uh, be always there with the industrial st stethoscope uh, check for the vibration sound they take the engine on a part load and check for if all is okay then take the engine on a part load check all all the things if it is okay then take the engine on full load and uh, check to be made hey guys thanks for watching the video do not forget to hit subscribe button and like button do comment in the comment box below for your suggestion your suggestion are most welcome and those who haven't seen our part one video the links are given in the description do not forget to watch that video and stay tuned for the upcoming video thank you all for watching